Hi, I'm John Beckett. Welcome to the Under the Ancient Oaks Samhain Ritual. Before we begin, I'd like to tell you what you need to know to participate where you are. You're welcome to simply follow along with the ritual, but if you'd like to participate, repeat the calls of hail and welcome and such. I've already lit the central fire, but when I make offerings to it, light your own candle. Pour offerings along with me. I'm offering whiskey. You offer what seems right to you. When we're done with the main working, we'll share a drink amongst ourselves. When the ritual is over, be sure to dispose of your offerings in a respectful manner. Pouring them on the ground is ideal. You may want to leave them on your altar for a day or two. Pouring them down the drain is not recommended. Our main working tonight has two parts. Samhain is a time to remember and honor our beloved dead. The first part of our working honors those who have died from COVID-19 this year. The second part of our rite is a working for victory, that those who oppress refugees, the poor, racial and religious minorities, women, LGBTQ persons, and anyone else will be thoroughly and decisively defeated. Our deities of the occasion are Lu, who we honored at Lunasad, and the Morrigan, who we honored at Summer Solstice. When you have a need, it is better to call on deities by relationship rather than by function. We have relationships with Lu and with the Morrigan, but also our workings tonight fall within their areas of interest and general responsibility. Let us now begin our celebration of Samhain. Let us now cast the circle to create sacred space in which to work. Let us now invite the spirits of the elements in the direction to join our circle. Spirits of the east, spirits of air, we call to you. Join our circle, we ask, and bless us with your wisdom. Help us to make wise choices in the days and weeks ahead. Spirits of the East and of Air, hail and welcome. Spirits of the South, spirits of fire, we call to you. Join our circle, we ask, and bless us with your inspiration. Give us passion for the work that must be done. Spirits of the South and of fire, hail and welcome. Spirits of the West, spirits of water, we call to you. Join our circle, we ask, and bless us with your love. Teach us for compassion for all in need. Spirits of the West and of water, hail and welcome. Spirits of the North, spirits of Earth, we call to you. Join our circle, we ask, and bless us with your abundance. Grant us your steadfastness and your resilience. 
spirits of the north and of earth, hail and welcome. I now invite you to light your own candle. This fire is for us the intersection of all times, all directions, and all worlds. It is united with flames lit around the country and around the world, and with the flames that burn in the hearts of all those who celebrate Samhain with us tonight. We who cannot be together in body, join together in spirit at this sacred circle. We make this offering that our journeys may be safe and fruitful. Spirits of the land, spirits of this place, spirits of all the places where we gather, we thank you for sharing this place with us. We ask your protection and blessings on this sacred rite. That we may learn and grow in honor and friendship. Accept this offering, we ask, given in hospitality and in love. Spirits of the land, hail and welcome. Ancestors of blood and ancestors of spirit, you who survive plagues and famines, wars and enslavement, ice ages and dark ages, because you survived, we have life. Because you lived, so can we. Accept this offering, we ask, given in hospitality and in love. Mighty ancestors, hail and welcome. Hail to the fair folk, those in the courts of the various monarchs, and those who are aligned with no one in this world or the other. We honor you as our good neighbors. We make this offering in hospitality and respect that our sacred work may be, safe, be successful and uninterrupted. Good neighbors, hail and welcome. Lu Lumfada. Lou of the long arm, we ask you to join our circle and bless us with your presence. Great champion and king, slayer of valor, be welcome here. Grant us the gift of your invincible spear, we ask, that we may be victorious in our fight to protect our community, our world, and all the creatures who share it with us. Accept this offering, we ask, given in hospitality and love. Lou, hail and welcome. Morrigan, battle raven, lady of sovereignty, we ask you to join our circle and bless us with your presence. You who gives the right to rule and who demands that we rule rightly, be welcome here. Show us our strength, we ask, so we can uphold the great work of this time and place. Great queen, let us fight by your side until peace is won. Accept this offering, we ask, given in hospitality and in love. Morrigan, hail and welcome. At Samhain, we honor our beloved dead. We remember them, and if the conditions are right, we experience their presence once again. If you have not already done so, I encourage you to make special offerings to your ancestors 
and other beloved dead. Speak their names, sit in meditation, and listen for their presence. In this ritual, however, we have a different obligation to fulfill. 2020 is a year like no one has seen in over a century. A plague has struck the entire world, and despite our advanced medical technology, over a million people have died from COVID-19, over 200,000 of them in this country. More will die before the pandemic ends. Tonight, we remember those who have fallen to this disease. To those who have died from COVID-19 and its complications, especially those who died alone, we remember you. We mourn your deaths and we lament that your lives were cut short, whether by decades or by days. We mourn those who could not be saved and we mourn those who could have been saved with a more effective public response. We mourn those who have yet to die from this disease, but who surely will. We speak to over a million souls, followers of many religions and of no religion. We cannot say all the words that need to be said and perform all the rites that need to be performed. But we remember and honor you all. As our tradition dictates, we ask that your gods and ancestors receive you into their presence, that they welcome you and comfort you. We make this offering that you may know you are still loved and that you will not be forgotten. Beloved dead, hail and welcome. Oh, blessed are we. Summer will come with the May on the tree. Whoa, and hail to the Queen, and under the sun we shall sing. To call in the spring, the The stories of the Tuatha Dé Danann tell how they suffered under the Fomorians until, with the leadership of Lu, they rose up and defeated their oppressors. The gods I serve have never told me who to vote for. They have never told me which political party or which socioeconomic system they prefer. Instead, they have told me which virtues they want me to embody in my life and to manifest in the mainstream world. If politics and economics are beneath the concerns of the gods, they are not beneath ours. Politics are the collective expression of our common values. Economics are how we distribute the bounty of nature. If we ignore politics and economics, we leave them to those who do not share our values and who do not have our best interests at heart. On Tuesday, the United States of America will hold an election that will determine the direction of this country and influence the rest of the world for years to come. I have made my positions clear and I will not restate them in this ritual. Instead, I pray for victory. Lu Lam Fada, Lu of the long arm we call to you. When the battle against the Fomorians reached its critical point, you rushed to the front of the fighting. You encouraged the Tuatha Dé Danann to fight well and to overthrow their oppressors. Grant us your strength, we ask. Grant us your courage. May we be inspired by your example and fight well. Hail, Lu.
Morrigan, battle goddess, lady of sovereignty, we call to you. When all the Tuatha Dé Danann were asked what they would bring to the battle, you said you would go to the king of the Fomorians and take from him the blood of his heart and the kidneys of his valor. Grant us your wisdom, we ask. Grant us your determination. May we be inspired by your example and work magic well. Hail, Morrigan. We do not simply ask for victory. We fight for victory. We work for victory. We have resisted and persisted. We have marched and rallied. We have made phone calls and written checks. We are now casting ballots. We have done all the things necessary to win. Now we add magic to our efforts. by the sovereignty of the land. By the strength of the oak. By the purity of the water. by the power of my will and our will. Victory is ours. Victory is ours. Victory is ours. So mode it be. We have gathered together. We have invited our allies and we have made offerings. I now invite you to join me and them in a sip of whiskey or whatever you prefer to drink. Let us now thank those who have aided us in our right. Morrigan, battle goddess, lady of sovereignty, we thank you for your presence and your blessings. May we always honor you in freedom and in power. Hail and farewell. Lulam Fada, Lou of the long arm, we thank you for your presence and your blessings. May we always honor you in courage and in skill. Hail and farewell. Mighty she, we are glad our work tonight went well. May there be peace and honor between us now and forever. Hail and farewell. Mighty ancestors, we thank you for your presence and your wisdom. May our time together renew and strengthen our connections across many generations and across many realms. Hail and farewell. Spirits of the land, spirits of all the places where we are, we thank you for your presence and your blessings. May there be honor and hospitality between us now and forever. Hail and farewell. Spirits of the north, spirits of earth, spirits of the west, spirits of water, spirits of south, spirits of fire, spirits of the east, spirits of air, we thank you for your presence and your blessings. Hail and farewell. As our fire dies down, we leave the sacred center and return fully to our homes around the world. But we know that as we have come together tonight, so we can come together in the future, even if we cannot gather around a common fire.
At Samhain, the days grow short, the weather grows cold, and the veil between the worlds, such as it is in this tower time, grows thin. We remember our beloved dead, and we experience their presence once again. The presence of the dead is not the same as the presence of the living, but it is presence nonetheless. This is a Samhain like none of us have ever experienced. But we who are still among the living intend to remain among the living until our proper time comes. We have fought, and we will continue to fight against our oppressors and those who oppress anyone until victory is won. The rites of Samhain are now complete. May the blessings of our gods and ancestors be with us now and in the days to come. Sound.